everybody. Welcome to another Daily Devotion. Great to have you with us. My name is Dave. If this is your first time here, welcome. So great to have you here. Uh, we publish these videos usually every Saturday morning. And uh, today we're chatting about peace. And I'm down in the studio. Uh, I'm really kind of short on time. I didn't have time to go out. I usually walk around in the middle of the woods and talk to myself. But it's just tonight I'm sitting here uh, talking to a camera in my studio. <laughs> so... Um, but I want to talk about peace today. Peace is something that uh, a lot of us struggle with. And as things slowly start to uh, open up again, it's been interesting to see, like I was driving the other day and I, I said to myself, I said, wow, traffic has really picked up a lot in the last couple of months because I've been slowly getting out and playing shows again and uh, and leading people in worship, which has been amazing. But I've noticed that the traffic has started to tick up a little more. And now that we're rolling into summer, this one is being published uh, towards the end of June. Um, there's a lot of traffic and it, it, it means that people are going back to work and, and life is quasi resuming, which is great. Like that's an awesome thing. But it also means that our Stress levels are going to rise up again. All of these things that happen when we get busy again, we get distracted again uh, from God in our lives. And that's why it's, it's important maybe to just stop for a minute and take a look at peace and just a few verses about what the Bible says about peace and, um, and just let it sink into our hearts and our souls a little bit before we get into the craziness of you know, summer and fall and, and winter and all this stuff, just take a minute and look at peace. So peace, you know, peace is just an interesting, interesting thing, right? Let, so let's just talk about it. Let's talk about peace. Peace that we have with our situations. Realizing that as we trust God and develop a relationship with Him more, we're able to confront our situations and our confrontations in a different way than what the world would expect sometimes, right? There's a peace that develops when we're walking with God more and more and more, a peace that kind of transcends all understanding, sometimes even our own understanding, right? It's, it's all of it. It's just like, what is going on? And Galatians 5.22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, right? The third one in there was peace. It's wonderful that in the midst of all of these words, these verbs, we find peace, right? Love, joy, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, all of these actionable words. And then in the middle of that, we find peace. We can offer love. We can offer joy. We can offer kindness. We can offer goodness. All of these we can offer. And yes, we can offer peace too, right? Peace to someone in the midst of turmoil, peace in the midst of conflict, Peace in the midst of uncertainty. These fruits of the Spirit, they kind of live within us. And this Spirit, this Holy Spirit is God inside of us, right? It's His Spirit guiding us, whispering words of encouragement, guidance, direction. It's all of this given to us in situations that we kind of encounter uh, daily. And the Spirit in us allows us to just react in ways that are incomprehensible to some. The Spirit guides us. It directs us. It leads us. It teaches us. And it gives us hope. Maybe pain in the night, but joy comes 
Another verse on peace, Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is kind of like a foundational scripture in the Bible. I remember I taught it to my kids when, we were, when they were younger. When I was younger, I learned it from Sunday school and my parents, you know, it's kind of like, hey, go read Philippians. It's like a great short four chapter book. It'll be easy to get through, but it's really kind of this foundation, foundational scripture in the Bible and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This peace that we're talking about is peace that comes from God and is only known to those who are walking with God, right? Our walk has to be a daily walk where we confide in Him, rest in Him, where we develop a relationship with Him, kind of that, that changes our insides and then reflects externally through it all, right? Like this peace that we get changes us inside and then we can then take that peace and push it out to others that we come in contact with during stressful times, times that raise our anxiety level, times that we just get frustrated or are looking, you know, maybe maybe there's an argument starting and then you can be like, ah, oh, wait, there's peace in me that transcends all of it. It's, it's kind of why when people ask, 
How can you have this peace? We can say we have this peace that transcends all understanding because we're seeking and holding fast to the promises that our God made to us, right? It's not because like, hey, Paul wrote this all these years ago and then we're supposed to read it and be like, yeah, okay, whatever, Paul, it's all good, you know, but you're not living my life. But at the same time, like, Paul was pretty stressed out, I'm sure, getting thrown in jail and beatings. Yeah, that's kind of stressful. So Paul was dealing with different kind of circumstances, but we've all got them. We've all got all of this craziness, this busyness. And that's why it's so important to just kind of ooh, slow down for a minute and just let God work this peace into us. This peace is fostered by a relationship with God, right? It goes back to what we were talking about uh, uh, just in many of our devotions. We have this peace because we've built a relationship with him, built a relationship of trust and hope, built a relationship that brings us peace because we surrender to him. Like there's that word again, surrender. We keep bumping over this word. It's incredible. Faith, trust, surrender. Those three words. We surrender all that we have to him. The peace becomes, it comes because we have this amazing grace that we can rest in. This is the grace that God bestows on us every single day. So today, I'm not sure where you're at, okay? I know I say that often because I get emails and, and uh, messenger uh, notes from a lot of you guys, and it's amazing to be able to pray for you and pray with you. There's a lot of folks in our member area that post prayer requests, and it's just awesome to be able to pray and understand and know where we are as a community so that we can continue to pray for each other and lift each other up. And hopefully the peace that God brings through our relationships together will change us. And I think maybe it all comes down to like today, just stop, surrender, exercise your faith and your trust muscles a little bit and find peace, find hope, find love, find faithfulness, find joy, find goodness. But most of all, find peace. Find the peace that, that Jesus has in store for us, right? The peace that we just can't comprehend sometimes because we're not supposed to, right? We're not supposed to like totally get it. If we totally got it, then I'm not sure, like I don't want to understand 
all of God. I want to keep seeking him and seeking who he is and how it works and what it's all about. And if there's peace that just kind of transcends my own understanding, I'm all for it. Like, just let it be something that happens in your life. Sometimes this peace is something that we just can't put words to, right? We just can't put feelings to. And I, I do think that's a good thing. I do. That means that we're walking with a God that continues to push us past our limits, past our limits of understanding. And that's a good thing. Sometimes we just have to walk in faith. Oh, there's that word again, faith. <laughs> God walks before us. He walks behind us. He's surrounding us. He's always with us. So today, find peace. Just let peace slowly roll into your life. Look, head back to these two scriptures, okay? Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And then Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Just take those two verses. Maybe today we're releasing this again on a Saturday. So maybe you have time today to just stop 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and just kind of meditate on these verses and let God just speak to your heart. And don't forget to just breathe, right? Just breathe out, breathe in the Ruach of God, right? We've spoken about that a lot. But just let God in and let him bring you peace today. Amen. Amen. Man, it's so, so important. Um, well, thank you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging with me in the studio. Um, good thing. Hey, so I'm out on the road a little bit. And uh, if you could just keep me in your prayers, that'd be amazing. And if you want to support uh, all the work that we're doing, we're out. I'm out for about two weeks. And uh, we are just playing a bunch of shows and leading people in worship and um, talking to people about Jesus and just doing what it is that I've been called to do. And the only way that I can do it is if you guys support this. And we have ways of supporting uh, monthly. You can just come on board over at joindaysband.com, which is a great way to support us monthly. You get access to devotions every day and weekly worship videos and weekly Bible studies and all that stuff. So membership starts at $5 a month. Most people come in at 15 a month. Uh, just so you can get access to all of that stuff. So just check it out, joindaysband.com or just head over to um, dpcoffeecompany.com and you can buy a bag of coffee and a portion of the proceeds goes straight back to helping us sponsor another child. Uh, together, we've sponsored about 16 kids in our member area and we are really close to sponsoring a kid with the coffee, the, our first child with the coffee company. And uh, we want you to be a part of it. So it's fantastic, delicious coffee uh, over at dpcoffeecompany.com. And uh, hey, thank you guys. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.